Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. So today I'm gonna to be doing Rapunzel. I'm doing an off the mat. Um, and I recently just kind of had an epiphany on these off the mat characters. Um, I thought, why not incorporate the things that we do on a cake topper with our off the mat, like the elf. I know you can't really see it, but at the tip of his hat, he has a snowflake that spins. So I wanted to do um, lights with my off the mat characters and I thought right away to Rapunzel because of her lantern. Um, and I've never actually done Rapunzel um, fully to life. I've done the design space tutorial but I actually didn't make it. I haven't had an order for a real life one. So let's do it. Uh, this image is in design space and I kind of like it just because it's broken up like the face, you know, the face, the neck, the hair is in a couple pieces. So I feel like I could do this seamless at the lantern, definitely do it at 30 inches and not have a problem with it. So um, let's just make this a little bit big right now. I don't understand. I was looking at this image earlier. I don't know what the white pieces are right here. I'm guessing it's like a flower or I, I've i seen this movie, but I don't recall this white thing, but I'm going to put the lantern kind of somewhere right around here. So I think I'm going to just get rid of the white pieces because I feel like it looks kind of funny. Um, so something like this, but this will go in the back, arrange into the back. Okay. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to duplicate this little thing right here. Okay, so for now, I'm gonna grab these two items. Let's make it 30 inches. I was thinking the lantern would have, you know, the light in there and she's sort of looking up at it and it's kind of in the background. So it'll be behind her here. Um, all right, so at 30 inches, I think this looks good. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna grab one of the lanterns and I'm going to grab, hit the shift key and grab her background and uh, weld it. Cause I want the lantern to be part of the background so that we have something to put it on top of. Okay, so, but this one is not a big deal. We'll just move this over like that. This one, so the lantern I'm pretty sure I stole the image. <laughs> I took a screenshot somewhere. Um, I think my, I don't know, my friend may have designed it. I don't even remember. So anyway, just make sure you find this lantern somewhere to add to it. Um, I'm going to make the lantern a dark purple. And then here's her image. So I think we're sort of good. The image is from Design Space, so just go into Images and search for Rapunzel, and it's this one down here. It's $1.99, I have access, and I thought it was 50% off, but I guess it's 50% off most images, because the last time I bought something Disney, it only gave me a 10 or 20% off um, deal. But it's still, I mean, for $2, whatever. And you actually don't pay for it until you go to the Make It screen. So you could just use this image for now, follow along, and then decide later that you wanna make it. So you don't pay until you make it. We can all practice using the same image. All right, so you just click on it and then insert, and it will insert. I'm gonna cancel because I already have it. Um, all right, so here she is. Let's just break up these pieces. So here's the lantern, it's in two pieces, right? So let's duplicate this, because um, we wanna, yeah, we're gonna wanna separate it. So let's go to contour and click on the bottom. So we just have the top. So here's the top, it's 10.4 by 10.6. And you know what, I wanna do volume paper. So that's going to, so just duplicate this. And then on this one, go to contour and hide all. And it's gonna give us just this. This I'm gonna turn into silver-ish so that I can remember. All right, so, and I'm gonna put, so how we're gonna layer this is, it, this goes in the back. So what happens is we'll have that tracing paper in the back, the purple glitter cardstock on top, and then we're gonna have a flashing light somewhere hidden back here. So it will shine through the volume paper, um, but not be distracting. So, all right, so here's this, and then now we just need the bottom piece, right? So let's go to contour, hide all, 
and we want the bottom piece we don't want the top piece so contour is a great tool for quickly removing things separating pieces so here's our lantern easy peasy right let's look at this um, let's ungroup this let's look at this white for a second and let's just get rid of those three pieces so go to contour and we don't want these three pieces so I'm going to select Oh, where are those three pieces? This one, this one, and this one. Okay. So what's left of our white pieces is um, the lace of her dress and her eyes. I'm just going to bring in a big square and we're going to slice things out because right now, technically, nope, we can't. We can't even cut this with a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. Plus there's a lot of wasted space. So let's make this square really big. And we can slice two things at one time. So we're gonna slice out this little lace piece right here. We're in like a traffic jam right here, right? But as long as my mouse only picks up the white and the square, I can still slice it apart. So now that little piece is no longer part of here, right? I can move this in here and watch. This is in a lot of, a lot of traffic. I'm gonna go Thinly down, grab the white and my square and slice. So now that big piece of lace is no longer part of this. Oops, hold on. And now I'm gonna slice out the eyes, the white of the eyes. You wanna make sure that one piece is completely covered by the square, <laughs> sorry, I was checking. And the other piece is out, out of the square so that you can have all your pieces. I'm gonna remove this and you can see, we can remove all the slice results. We don't need any of that, right? So we'll remove that. But see now, here's the lace piece by itself. Here's the eye one, and here's the other one. So it's all separated. All right, let's look at the hair. So the hair, we can zoom in for a second. Okay, the hair is one big piece here, one, two, three, four, five, five pieces. So I'm gonna use contour. I'm not gonna slice it because these pieces are so close together, it's gonna be hard to isolate one piece to slice it away from the other pieces. So we're gonna use contour. However many pieces you want separated, that's how many pieces, how many images you'll need. So we want five separate pieces, we need five copies total. So here's our second copy, I'm gonna duplicate. Here's our third, fourth, and fifth. Take the first one, go to contour. We wanna hide all, it's gonna leave us this big chunk right here. All good with me, so there's our big chunk. It's 6.5 by 12.3, I'm not gonna worry about that. I can, prob I can shift this around and have it fall under um, our pieces, cause look, I'm gonna twist it around. It's already 8.7 by 11, so we don't need to slice it anymore, even though it looks like we need to, okay? All right, let's go to the next one, contour. Um, hide all, so it's gonna leave us a top piece, but we already have that one. So I want this one, I don't want this one. So here's our second piece, right? All right, let's go to the next one, contour. Hide all, I want the third piece, not the first piece. And that's our big chunk at the bottom. Then let's go to the next one, contour. Hide all, I want the fourth piece, not the top piece. So you can see it gets really easy, but you wanna make sure that you have sort of a systematic way to do it so you don't lose any pieces. All right, now I just need this little one, right? So contour, hide all. You can even select it here. I want this one, I don't want this one. And there's our little guy right there. Okay, so let's zoom out for a second. We've done the hair the white, the lantern, we're all good. <clears throat> Here's the lips, <clears throat> excuse me, here are the eyes. And again, I would separate them. Technically you can get this to cut, but it's such a waste of space right there. So just duplicate, contour, get rid of one. Okay, and then contour, get rid of this one. Oops, hold on. I want this one, okay. So there are two pieces. Let's see, here is our skin. Our skin is the face, neck, 
arm, arm, and fingers. So what is that, five? <laughs> so it's two, third copy, fourth, fifth. Okay, go to contour, hide all, and it's gonna leave us the face, and actually this is a good exercise. So see how it, um, it contoured out the eyes and the nose and the mouth? I'm gonna keep this one as is and turn it black. This is gonna go between this black background because in case there's any slices, any seams running down the eyes or the mouth, this will cover it. And then let's go to contour. Um, let's get rid of the neck. Come on, I want that hand. Why is it so hard to get that hand? Okay, don't want this. And, oh gosh. And I don't want this. Okay, so I want the map, the face. Do we have the face? Perfect. So we have the face here. So I'm going to arrange sense to the front just to show you again. So what's going to happen is this face is going to go on top of here. So if there were any seams running through right here, that black would cover it. Okay, so that means we need another copy of this because I took an extra copy. All right, so we have, let's go to contour. We want the, do I already have the hand? I don't think I have the hand. I don't want the face. All right, so here's my hand, 3.8 by 8.3, perfect. Let's go to the next one, contour. I want the neck, so hide all. I want the neck, I don't want the face. So you can see it's just a pattern, it's pretty fast. Um, now I need the hand and the arm, right? So hide all. I want this. I don't want the face. Okay, so there's my arm. 9.3 by 1.9, perfect. And now I just need the fingers. Contour, hide all. And I want this. I don't want this. All right, let's see if that gave it to me. No. No. Contour, what happened here? Let's see. Show all, hide all. I want this hand. I don't want this face. What is going on? Contour, <laughs> hide all. Okay. I want the fingers. I don't want the face. There we go. Okay. Here's this piece. Let's, oh, what am I doing? I don't want upload. Sorry, cancel. I wanted a square so I can slice things out. So let's bring in a big square. We'll use the same square and slice out the next few things, okay? So here we go. All right, I'm gonna slice out that. So let's grab these two items and slice. So now my pink sleeve is there and here. Okay, let's look at the next piece. So I'm gonna keep these three together because they're pretty close together. So let's just put it down here, slice these two things out. Did it work? Okay. But these two pieces, I'm going to weld them together because I don't wanna deal with those two pieces, those loose pieces. So these I'll keep together. This one, I'm gonna zoom in for a second and bring in a circle. Where's my circle? Okay, I'm gonna make this small and maybe even unlock it and kind of flatten it out a little bit. Okay. So I'm gonna do something like this. I'm gonna grab these two and weld it. So here's my little sleeve. It's now one piece and it's just easier to manage like we have a lot of pieces so anywhere that we can do that i like to do that without changing um, the design so much okay so what do we have left we have this piece now this piece is funky it has a draw i'm just going to delete it i'm not drawing it's just going to be one little piece in the middle of her dress and then these two pieces let's slice it out and then i think we're done with the colored pieces so let's slice it's pretty easy, right? Okay, so there's that piece. Let's get rid of this. We don't need this. 
we don't need our slice results and then here's this piece i think that's everything but our background all right so here's our background our background is 24 by 30 so let me move all this stuff out of the way i'm just gonna scoot it over okay and let me save while we're here And hopefully it saves without any issues. My project doesn't all of a sudden disappear. And if it does, this, okay, good. I was gonna say this project is jinxed. I already did this and it didn't record properly. So, all right, so here's our piece. It's 24 by 30. So we're gonna slice this up into pieces that we can cut with our 12 by 12 cardstock. So technically we can cut 11 and a half by 11 and a half, but I don't like dealing with half inches. So we're gonna do 11 by 11. And in this case, it doesn't matter because no matter what, 11 plus 11 is 22. I'm gonna need a third row, right? Or a third column. Um, and even 11 and a half plus 11 and a half is only 23. I would still need that third. And then with 30, I need three rows no matter what. So I'm doing a grid of nine squares, okay? So let's bring in our first square and make this 11 by 11 okay and then we're just going to plop it down somewhere over here and we're going to go to our position feature and round to the nearest whole number so 25.8 becomes 26 and 4. so what we're saying is go over 26 units go down four units and here's the beginning of our square we're going to duplicate it put it really close and then round 37.1 becomes 37 3.9 becomes 4 this just ensures that everything butts up to each other so that when we're taping it together it helps us hide the seams because we know exactly where they go they're going to go right up to each other and we can tape it together let's duplicate and we don't want any gaps and we don't want any overlays so we're going to put this one close 48 and 4 and I'll show you the math behind it. So this one is starting at 26. 26 plus 11 is 37 and there's 37. 37 plus 11 is 48 and it's at 48. So you can kind of see how that works. All right. So we have three squares completely flushed, right? So hit your shift key and grab all three and we'll duplicate a set of three since they're already flushed, right? Put it really close and then round, so 25.9 becomes 26, 15.5 becomes 16. Oh, I made a mistake, maybe that needs to be 15. Okay, there we go. All right, let's duplicate, and here's our last set of three. Okay, so we're gonna put it here, and 26, 26. All right, so let's scroll down, get our little background, that's actually gigantic, here we go. And we're going to send it to the front, arrange send to the front. Okay, so here's our lantern and I'm gonna zoom in just so that we can see it better, okay? All right, so we have a lot of empty space. What I'm thinking is, let me zoom out one second. Um, I'm thinking if we move this over No, we still need three. So let's do something like this. Okay. So what's going to happen here is, hold on, let's see if we can do, well, maybe something like that. I think that works. Okay, so let's zoom in and see what we have. Our first cut is going to be kind of small. It's this little corner here, but let's see if we can fix that. I think we can. Um, let's grab this. Hold on. Let's grab this square. Okay, hold on. Let's move this to the back. Arrange, send to the back. I think we can get rid of this one. I don't think we need this up here. And I, I'm making this one. I don't think we need this little guy up here because our purple lantern 
fits right over on top. That's not gonna have an outline. All right, so I'm gonna scooch this over. Okay, so that works, right? So that's one less cut. And then, okay, so now let's bring it back. Arrange, grab this, arrange, send to the front. So our square is gonna cut over here, cut up here, so this is one big piece. This is a small piece right here, but uh, it just is what it is. All right, this one, let's see, it's gonna come down right through here. Um, okay. Oh man, I really don't like this. We're like cutting, hold on, let's see what we have here. Can I move this over anymore? Oh, our image is just a little bit too big. That's annoying. I don't like small pieces. <laughs> So, actually, if you remember, the eyes were over here, right? Let's do something like that. Then we gotta move this back over. Um, so, Let's send that, arrange, send to the back. We're gonna grab these two, hit the shift key, and we're just scooching it over like that with your cursor. Okay. All right, so I think we've got everything. Um, I probably should have made this just a tiny bit smaller had I thought about it, but now it's too late. Um, arrange, send to the front, because all our pieces are cut you know, all of our purple and pinks are cut to this size, but we're gonna, we're gonna slice this up. Oh, wait a minute. It's coming down right here. Okay, we don't need this piece. I'm just gonna get rid of that. All right, let's start slicing. So we're gonna slice here. Lies here. And so you can see we're just slicing it into pieces that we can cut on the Cricut now. So let's do here. All right, let's see what we have. So we have this piece. All right, we still have some big pieces here. Let's grab this and slice. Um, all right, so let's start deleting some of these pieces. I can't tell what I still have. Okay, did we slice this piece? Can't slice that. Um, What is going on? I think it's really acting up right now. I don't know if it's not letting me slice. Hold on. Let's see what we have here. Okay, so hold on. I'm gonna grab this and... You should be able to slice all the way around. I don't know what's going on. I think Design Space is seriously acting up right now. Okay, this is out. It's like not letting me slice, but okay. It's so weird right now. I'm gonna go to contour for a second. I'm gonna get rid of this little piece we don't need. Okay, so all that's left is, okay, so there's my little. <laughs> okay, everything did slice out. Oh my gosh, this project, okay. Okay, I really, I'm not a fan of how I slice this, I have to admit, but um, 
if I could go back, I think what I would do is I would just make it slightly smaller, maybe 29 inches, um, so that I have better pieces here, because this is what this looks like. with this small teeny piece that goes here. Not a fan, okay. Um, let's delete this, I'm still gonna make it. Let's go to the make it screen so I can show you what that looks like. Just click okay, so here's our volume piece, here's our white, you can move these pieces over, you can see that. Just make sure that they're not overlapping Okay, here's our black. Um, you can probably move this piece and click on the three dots, move object, so you can consolidate sheets. Maybe move it here. And yep, so you can see you could do that. Um, all right, so here's the face. You can, you know, move this however you want to if you plan on saving the scraps you know just so that it's more usable space next time you have a nice rectangle up here okay let's look at this hair so this hair this looks like it's over 12 inches but you know we have space so we can rotate this and look it's now less than 11 inches right let's look at this piece we can rotate this piece like this. So let's move this over, turn it a little bit. Okay, this little guy over here, this little guy move over. Perfect. So actually this all fits on, oh no, we have one more piece down here. Can we make this work? I'm going to move this. I'm gonna rotate this and hopefully it fits nicely in this little nook. Okay, perfect. Fits on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. Don't worry that it says a 12 by 24 mat, you're fine. You can use a 12 by 12 mat with 12 by 12 cardstock and this will be perfect. Okay, here are the eyes. You can move this closer. You can even do something like this. Um, and that goes for all these pieces. Oh, did we not separate this piece? So see how it's kind of wasted space? So you wanna make sure we separate it so that we can move this one probably right here and it would be like much smaller, more concise, right? Um, okay, so here's this one and this one. Definitely move together. Click on the three dots, move object, and we'll just move it to the other page. Move it to this one. And then just make sure when you move it that you they're not overlapping. All right. Um, all right. That is it. When you go to, so see, we can go to the make it page. When you actually pay is when you go to check out here to cut the pieces. So, all right. I'm going to cancel out of this. I'm going to save it. even though I'm so unhappy with this. I'm gonna probably rework it. So, all right, but you kind of get the feel for it. And I will talk to you next time. Let me know your feedback. Did this suck? <laughs> I hate when there's mistakes, but I kind of want you to see like, it's also good because then it's things to avoid for next time that you kind of learn and go, and I'm making the mistake and not you. Um, all right. Let me know what you think. If you have a special idea, special project, I'm here to help you with that as well. Thanks, guys.